So the absolutely brilliant news is that I have pretty well got rid of all the problems that I've been talking about over the last uh, few videos and the system is now working. Uh, what has changed? Well, the main thing is I've changed the way that I am using the detectors in the software. I was using uh, what I thought would be the best technique at the time. I was using uh, interrupts. So the Raspberry Pi inputs were giving me interrupts. Uh, these are events that occur so the processor can get on with other tasks. And only when an interrupt occurs, when an edge or an event arrives, um, that it will process that. So what I was doing was I was programming the four inputs to give me uh, an interrupt on the rising edge and on the falling edge of each of the detectors. And uh, that was the way I decided to do it. But as I've explained in previous videos, I was having a little bit of problem with the reliability. And I would say I got it to about 90, 98% reliable. But in, you know, just once in a while, it would go wrong. And, um, you know, no matter how black I made the paint, here or how well I shielded the detectors or where, how shiny the mirror surface was of the of the marker on the dome uh, it just wasn't a hundred percent reliable so I've changed tack I've gone for a technique I, I didn't want to do but um, I've combined it with uh, a, another technique which makes it a, a really good solution and that is I'm now just uh, polling I'm just reading continuously reading the the input values uh, coming from the four detectors. But I'm using threading. I'm actually making that happen in another uh, processing thread. And so therefore the background task can carry on. And whenever it is that I'm looking for the, you know, driving the motor and looking for the next uh, event, uh, I'm not relying on that initial edge anymore. And I'm just reading, reading, reading. And when it goes low, 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 high, 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 I say, that's it. I've got myself an event and as far as I can see it's 100% reliable. So that's the main change. Let me give you a demo now, let me spin you around the system, I've got to get hold of the camera and I'll show you uh, what's happening. Okay let's start with the, the business end, you've seen this before, uh, we've got the motor on the, on the mount, uh, much, I've done it a bit untidily but this is a, a nice bit of uh, rubber. Uh, a cord and this works really well uh, to uh, give the motor uh, a bit of play as I've described before. Down here I've got the the box it's going to be mounted on the wall uh, on this piece of wood but I've just got it because I keep on taking it in and out so I'm, I'm just putting it on the table here just for the moment and um, also um, across here I've actually got the detectors uh, there's the little interface box. I've got the detectors uh, across the other side of the dome and the only reason I'm doing that at the moment is because I can I can reach it when I'm monitoring it with my laptop but but it won't be spread across the dome it would just be here somewhere next to the motor so uh, you know but because I've got a bit of spare cable I can position it wherever I like at the moment. So that's where the detectors are and let me show you what well, one thing to note is uh, we're here in bright sunlight okay and it works because the um this this new technique it doesn't rely on it being very dark um and the the mirror here we go uh, all i've done let me come around here you can see that uh, i've just put a few pieces of very reflective this, this is that these mirror tiles i've been talking about and i've just put i think five or six of these on at the moment so the, the dome is not fully covered with these things they stop there uh, but that's enough to to demonstrate it uh, and of course eventually i will stick all, all the bits on but uh, okay so that's the setup and now let me have, show you the screen and give you a demo here's the laptop running two things on the left is the window that is remotely controlling the raspberry pi and that program that's running in there is python and it's running on the raspberry pi uh, in the control box. Whereas this program here is running on this laptop. It's a Python uh, program with a Windows front end I'm using Tekinta, but I'll explain all these details later for anyone who's really interested. And you can see there's a bunch of buttons on here I can connect and disconnect and send commands and uh, send home commands, stop, abort, reset, 
um, forwards and backwards, and uh, some tracking commands as well. So what I'm going to quickly do is just uh, show you that if I press drive forwards, it is causing the dome and the motor's driving away. You can hear it driving. That's full speed, by the way. Stop, and then I'll uh, click drive backwards, and we'll come back until uh, the mirror tapes are back where they were. Okay, so that's uh, just illustrating that it does drive. And if I now uh, let, what I've got going now is a, a demonstration where I'm pretending, my code is pretending that the system needs moving every 10 seconds. Because if I ran it at full proper speed, it wouldn't move until you know, 10 minutes every 10 minutes. So I'm, my program is uh, calculating when to move, but I put a little bit of code in to say, forget that, make it every 10 seconds. And so if I start tracking, okay, it's, it says nine seconds until move. So five, four, three, two, one, and move and stop. So that has moved one the marker has moved to the next little detector. So that's the smallest increment. And four, three, two, one, move, and there we go. Now, in the, the real program, when it's running properly, uh, well, this is the real program, but it will, of course, be calculating uh, how many seconds properly to uh, wait until to move one marker and it would just nudge the dome round. So this is running at about sort of, I don't know, 100 times real speed or something, but there it runs. There we go. Uh, the whistling is because I'm asking the motor to drive at half speed and the PWM frequency whistles a little bit, but here we go, should be moving again. There we go. Lovely. So that is effectively how it's going to work. And as I say, it's working in full light, full daylight. Um, it, it should be reliable in any light, as far as I can see. And um, there we go, that's, that's my progress. I'm very, very pleased indeed. So that's the end of my uh, little update, just uh, to show you that I have conquered the various technical issues. Obviously there's some tidying up to do, a little bit of code to be written to finalize things off. And as you can see here, these are the bits of, um, uh, aluminium that I've bolted, bolted around the dome. It's got the plastic covering on and it needs to be painted and finished off but this is the, the change I made to reduce the friction on the dome so that's got to be done as well. A um, few more tasks and I'll probably make a video uh, soon describing the structure of the software and how I program the Raspberry Pi uh, to do its stuff. So okay that's the update for today. Thank you very much.